Hello friends, welcome to this recap program of Drishti IAS. Today's video will talk about some important events, discoveries, researches and achievements in the field of science in 2022, which were a matter of pride for India. In fact, this year India's Gaganyaan mission made a lot of headlines in the field of science. This project costs 10,000 crores and has been postponed for two more years due to COVID-19 crises. What makes it special is that this will be India's first human space program. In this context, ISRO, that is Indian Space Research Organization's president, S. Somnath, said that the world is looking at India as an inspirational place because of what the country has achieved in the space sector in the last 60 years. Former chairman of ISRO, Dr. K.K. Sivan, had said that ISRO is capable of completing the Gaganyaan mission within the stipulated time, but unfortunately, it got delayed. The importance of this program can be gauged from the fact that with this program, India will become the fourth country in the world to start a human space flight mission. So far, only America, Russia and China have launched human space flight missions. Three space missions will be sent under this project. Of these, two will be unmanned, while one will be a manned mission. Significantly, the modules included in the human space flight program are called orbital modules. One such module of the Gaganyaan mission will have three Indian astronauts, including a woman. This mission will revolve around the Earth in the low Earth orbit at an altitude of 300 to 400 kilometers from the Earth for 5 to 7 days. This is going to be a major achievement in India's space history. One of the important objectives of this program is to increase the level of science and technology in India. Its success will certainly prove to be an inspiration for young scientists. After this, the news came in the month of October that scientists of the United Kingdom have reported that they have achieved a new achievement in the production of nuclear fusion energy. According to scientists, this achievement will contribute to establishing an artificial process similar to the sun's energy production. The energy generated by nuclear fusion is one of the most important long-standing discoveries of mankind. It is comparatively considered to be very clean, that is, it emits less carbon. Along with this, it can be 100% clean with technical efficiency. Think of it as 1 kilogram of fusion fuel contains about 10 million times more energy than 1 kilogram of coal, oil or gas. Significantly, this experiment of fusion was done in JET, that is Joint European Taurus Facility site. The site is the largest operational site of its kind in the world. This energy generated by nuclear fusion was generated in a donut-shaped device called tokamak. A tokamak is a machine that confines a plasma using a magnetic field. This process is known in scientific language as torus. These were heated to temperatures 10 times hotter than the center of the sun to create plasma from deuterium and tritium. For this, superconductor electromagnets were used because it is capable of fusion with rotation and emits a lot of energy in the form of heat. The records and scientific data of these experiments are very important for ITER, that is International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, which is a larger and more advanced version of JET. If we talk about its definition, nuclear fusion is defined as the combination of many small nuclei into one large nucleus. This is the opposite reaction to fission, in which heavier isotopes are split. In the year 2022 itself, the government of India has allowed genome-edited plants without GMO, that is Genetically Modified Organism Regulation before GEAC, that is Genetic Engineering Appraisal Committee. The government has exempted SDN, that is Site-Directed Nucleases 1 and 2 Genome from Rule 7 to 11 of the Environment Protection Act. This would allow avoiding a lengthy process for approval of such GM crops through the GEAC. After this, under the Environment Protection Act, IBSC, that is, Institutional Biosafety Committee will be entrusted with the task of certifying that crops with genome editing are free from any foreign DNA. One such news came from National Thermal Power Corporation Limited. It invited global expressions of interest for 10 electric buses and 10 electric cars based on hydrogen fuel cells for Leh and New Delhi. For information, let's tell you that fuel cell electric vehicle is such a vehicle processes using hydrogen and oxidant as a fuel source. 
Fuel cells combine hydrogen and oxygen to produce electricity and water is a byproduct of the process. Under this, hydrogen is used to run the electric motor. Like conventional batteries, the hydrogen fuel cell also converts chemical energy into electrical energy. But fuel cell electric vehicles are affordable in the long run. Along with this, it is a great base for future electric cars. It marks the beginning of a new generation in electric vehicle technology. Significantly, unlike conventional combustion-based technology, they emit very small amounts of greenhouse gases. The air emitted from them also doesn't harm human health. Unlike other battery-powered vehicles, they do not require a charging point. Instead, they use hydrogen as fuel. Once the tank is full, it can cover a distance of up to 300 kilometers. In the year 2022, the Ethereum blockchain platform completely converted from proof-of-work to proof-of-stake consensus mechanism and this reform has been treated as a merger. This would do away with the need for crypto miners and the huge mining farms that previously operated the blockchain under a mechanism known as proof-of-work. In a proof-of-stake mechanism, transactions are randomly approved by validators. Validators are people who volunteer computers to maintain the integrity of the blockchain by continuously counting linkages from the first block to the last. There are many advantages of this system. Most importantly, it will completely eliminate the need for miners on the Ethereum network. This will reduce the energy consumption of Ethereum by about 99.95%. This will make transactions on the Ethereum network extremely secure. This year, Bharat Biotech's intranasal vaccine BBV-154 or Incovac became the world's first intranasal vaccine. It has been approved as a booster dose for COVID-19. The nasal vaccine is a vaccine containing a recombinant, replication-deficient adenovirus vector with a pre-fusion-stabilized spike protein being given via a nasal spray. It would eliminate the need for injections for all currently available COVID-19 vaccines. There will also be less dependence on trained personnel to deliver it. Incovac is effective against the Omicron variant, which affects the upper respiratory tract before it enters the lungs. This vaccine is given nasally. It triggers an immune response in the mucosal membrane. BBV-154 can produce local antibodies in the upper respiratory tract. This may offer the potential to reduce infection and transmission of disease. Since the nasal vaccine provides local immunity, it can be said that we have more probability and potential to be effective in preventing transmission than current generation vaccines. This year was very important in terms of MOXIE that is, Mars Oxygen in situ Resource Utilization Experiment. In this experiment, electricity was used to produce oxygen using atmospheric carbon dioxide. If this device succeeds in working properly, it will fulfill two more important needs of humans, including oxygen to breathe and rocket fuel to return to Earth. This year, news came from ISRO that the contact of Mars Orbiter Vehicle with ISRO was lost. Because of this, it cannot be recovered. And thus, the Mangalyaan mission came to an end. In fact, as a technology demonstrator, it was designed to have a lifespan of six months. But despite this, MOM, that is, Mars Orbiter mission remained in the orbit of Mars for about eight years. But due to lack of propellant or fuel, the desired power output could not be produced continuously and it lost its communication with the ground station. Significantly, the cost of the Mars Orbiter mission was Rs 450 crores. It was launched by PSLV C-25 on 5th November 2013. After this, in the year 2014, it was successfully placed in the orbit of Mars in the first attempt. This was India's first interplanetary mission. This mission made India the first Asian and fourth country in the world after NASA and the European Space Agency to reach Mars. Interestingly, China called India's successful Mangalyaan as Pride of Asia. Last year, India successfully tested a missile system, SFDR, that is Solid Fuel Directed Ramjet Booster, at ITR, that is Integrated Test Range, at Chandipur, off Odisha's coast. Let us tell you that the DRDO, that is Defence Research and Development Organisation, first started developing SFDR in the year 2017. After this, its successful tests were done in 2018 and 19 as well. Significantly, Solid Fuel Ducted Ramjet is a missile propulsion technology jointly developed by India and Russia. 
It is based on the concept of ramjet engine principle. A ramjet engine is a form of air breathing jet engine that uses the vehicle's forward motion to compress incoming air for combustion without a rotating compressor. In this, high pressure is generated by using the forward motion of the vehicle. Outside air brought into the propulsion system becomes the working fluid. Ramjet works only when the vehicle is already running. A ramjet cannot function if the engine is stationary. Unlike solid propellant rockets, ramjets draw oxygen from the atmosphere during flight. This way it is lighter in weight and can carry more fuel. Its special feature is that it protects the missile from airborne threats at a very long distance at supersonic speeds. Presently, such technology is available only with a few selected countries of the world. Air-to-air -air missiles that use SFDR technology are capable of striking at longer ranges because they do not require an oxidizer, that is, to take oxygen from the atmosphere. After this, a huge achievement was gained in the context of transport this year. This achievement can also be called the transport of the future. The Maharashtra government has given permission to private company Virgin Hyperloop 1 to start Hyperloop link between Mumbai and Pune, providing a practical and commercial form of Hyperloop transport technology. According to experts, this technology will forever change the definition of traffic in the world. Actually, Hyperloop is a magnetic train in the form of a capsule and it can run at a speed of 1000 to 1300 kilometers per hour. Now, work on this project has started in India along with other developed countries. There is a preparation to run this train between Mumbai and Pune in India. For this, an agreement has also has been signed with Virgin Hyperloop 1, a leading company in Hyperloop transport technology. But what is the need of it? As fast, cheap, safe and efficient means of transport are needed for the growing global economy, the existing modes of transport such as roads, airports and seaports are congested. Therefore, adopting Hyperloop will get rid of heavy traffic. Apart from this, for the last 100 years, we have not even discovered any new means of transport. Therefore, we specially need ultra-fast, on-demand, emission-free, energy-efficient and high-speed transport with smaller footprint than other transport. In such a situation, Hyperloop is currently capable of being integrated without any hindrance. Along with this, the system is also sustainable with zero carbon emissions. It is believed that its adoption will reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 36,000 tons in 30 years. For your information, let's tell you that the concept of Hyperloop, which revolutionized the field of transport, was given by Elon Musk. It has also been described as the fifth junction of transport. This technology is called Hyperloop because the transport in it will be through a loop, which will have a very high speed. Hyperloop is a new mode of transportation capable of transporting freight as well as people from their origin to their destination quickly, safely and on demand. Especially designed capsules or pods are used in this technique. In this, these capsules or pods are run on electrical magnets in large transparent pipes above the ground by seating passengers or loading cargo. Due to the magnetic effect, these pods are raised above the track. This increases the speed and also reduces the friction. In fact, in this technique of transportation, a vacuum-like environment is created inside large pipes. In the absence of air, a capsule-like vehicle which can travel at a speed of 1000 to 1300 km per hour, it is equipped with automation technology to avoid pilot error and meteorological hazards. Also, it is a safe and clean system without any direct carbon emissions. It can also be constructed in underground tunnels and on pillars above the ground to avoid dangerous grade crossings and to protect wildlife. These were some of the important news through which you can roughly understand the entire science and technology scenario of the year 2022. How did you like our effort? Do tell us in the comment segment. Thank you.